Hi guys, I'm a certified personal trainer and a graduate from the University of Western Ontario. I studied kinesiology, so today I wanna help you guys make your own workout program for free. I am making a workout plan for this channel and for my online training where you guys will be able to purchase those workout programs, but I'm working on it and I'm really crafting and making it perfect. I don't wanna put something out that's bad. So in the meantime, I want you guys to be able to have something that you can work out with and get better at because I know with fitness, it can be hard. Let's dive in now. So you can either write it down and have your own notebook, do it with your phone and your notes or on the computer you can record it here okay guys so the first thing you want to do is you want to say what each day is i will say personally you know it's monday and i'm doing a push day or for some it'll be leg day or cardio day whatever it is you want to say what that day is going to be next you want to have a warm-up your warm-up can consist of two to three exercises and you can have you know three sets of 12 to 15 reps of you know rotator cuffs or uh, rowing or arm swings any exercises that you feel like will prepare you best for that day that's what you want to include also you'll have some people include 10 minutes of the treadmill to get their heart rate up or you can do like another cardio machine to get your heart rate up whatever you feel like gets you ready for the workout because it's really important to warm up because that's going to prevent that injury risk now let's make our own table not a lot of personal trainers are going to show you this and honestly probably some of them are going to hate me now because i'm showing you something that's going to really help you see those results and i think that this is all you need now let's cover a few things you want to have the exercise listed you want to have the sets that you're going to do for it so some of you guys might be wondering what a set is if i do 12 reps of something so I do something 12 times that 12 group that's one set um reps is every time you do something once next is the tempo tempo is how fast you do the rep if I do a 4020 tempo what that means is I'm doing four seconds on the way down so let's say I'm doing a bench press four three two one zero means pause so I hold it and then one two up and that zero pause at the top again your percentage of your one rm so one rep max you want to be working at 70 to 85 percent usually sometimes people are going to work at that lighter intensity of you know maybe 55 to 75 percent range but i personally like to work at that 70 to 85 percent because i don't want to be giving a hundred percent of my one rm because that would be really hard on my heart right but you want to give a solid effort every time you do a rep sometimes Sometimes people will get up to that 90, but you don't always want to be working at that 90. That means that you're working at such a high intensity that it's so crazy. The first exercise I would do on a push day is bench press because you have the most energy at the beginning of the workout. So that's when you want to do your compound lifts, especially after you just warmed up. Sets wise, I'm going to do four sets because I feel like that's a solid number to get a good amount of volume in. The volume is the amount of reps and sets you're doing to get a high number of that is great, especially if you're trying to tone. You want to aim for 12 to 15 reps if you're trying to tone. If you're trying to get bigger and grow, you want to do six to 10 reps or you can do three to five if you feel confident and you have a spotter and really feel Feel like you can handle that heavy weight the rest really depends on the exercise like when i do ab workouts my rest times are very low because i really want to keep that burn going on my abs so i might recommend like a 15 to 30 second range for an ab workout on a compound lift like bench press i'll do 90 to 180 seconds usually just to make sure that i get a good amount of rest sometimes it'll be a little bit more sometimes it'll be a little bit less try not to text while working out guys because it'll mess up your rest times trust me notes are nice because they remind you to bring things so let's say i say wrist strap and that's going to remember oh yeah i like wearing wrist straps because it helps me push more while i lift and i personally highly recommend them because i get wrist pain when i'm pushing heavy weight and it protects me or if form is an issue for you, you could say shoulders back elbows in and have butt down and feet down then i want you guys to do the same for each exercise each row and remember you want to design it to you i'm going to give you guys some solid tips now on how to make it custom to you and how to make it the best plan for you you want to have the most challenging things at the beginning and then you want it to slowly slowly kind of get easier and easier and easier so you know add that accessory work in and play with the sets and reps and just really think about what's going to work for you you don't want it to always be the same thing so the good thing is the exercises will change but with the sets you might only do three sets next time you might do eight to ten reps next time you might keep the same tempo but the rest might only be 30 seconds. You don't want it to be the same workout because it'll just get boring. You want to keep your body guessing in a way because that's how you're going to see progress. So if your body is used to it, then it's just going to be boring and easy to do. And you're not going to see the same progress as if you were to challenge yourself. Now we got to relax the body. So cardio of your choice for 10 minutes. I even got to do this more. And so many of my clients got to do it more. Please, please, please do three to six stretches after your workout. It is a game 
game changer for soreness and you're going to recover so much better. You got to think about tomorrow because you're going to keep going to the gym, right? Even if the next day is a rest day, you got to think about the day after that. You're most likely going to go. And there's things that you do every day that still require you to be physically active. Stretching takes no equipment. You guys can all do it. And if you don't know stretches, literally just Google it. We've heard smart a lot, which is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time specific goals. And I really want you to keep that in mind while you're making your own workout plan, because I want you to see those results. And it is really important for you to understand that you have to do what's best for you. You have to do what's best for your schedule. And please guys, keep that in mind, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, time specific. Often I'll do this, I'll set such big goals and be like, okay, I just need to take a step back, set a smaller goal. It sounds bad, but at least you're able to complete that goal. And then the next goal can be bigger. Don't be so hard on yourself and put such big expectations because then it weighs down on your shoulders and you're like, oh my God, this is so much, I can't do it. I made my first workout plan when I was 14. When I first went to the gym, I wrote it down on one of those papers that the gym gives you. And I've always followed a workout plan. I've been training for eight years and I've always made workout plans for my clients that are custom and specific to them, to their needs, to their goals. But it is very important to do this because because there are days I don't want to work out. There are days that I really just don't feel like going to the gym. But when it's there, it feels like a to do list. It feels like a checklist that I need to get done. And I like it. It's weird. If you're someone struggling with motivation, and you feel like you're not disciplined enough, that's going to do that for you because you got to build these good habits. It is very important for you to go, okay, I got to get this done. That's what this is going to do for you. When you make a plan is because then you follow a schedule. I'm not going to always follow it 100% percent guys so there might be a day where i'm like there's gonna be days i don't want to do this exercise so i just take it out it's gone now here's some cool things you guys can do is you can swap with your friends you could send this plan to your friend and be like hey can i try your workout plan that you made for yourself and you can challenge each other so what you made maybe for your reps and sets one day i will find a lot challenging because i'm not used to that volume and that kind of training style that you have so it's going to challenge my body in a good way vice versa if i give you something where now i need you to do six to eight reps and I need you to do five sets of that with a heavier weight, you're going to be like, wow, I feel so different. And this is a balanced routine. As you go on, you're going to switch up the days. You're going to go, you know what? I don't like doing a push day on Monday. I like doing it on Tuesday because of my work schedule or because I'm sore by this day. You're going to find maybe on the weekends, you have this random spike of motivation where you want to go. You're going to find what days of the week work best for you. And guys, progress with this slowly, right? We, I don't want you guys to just jump into it and start, you know, going at a 1000 miles per hour, because this is something that I want you to think about long term, I want it to be a routine, I want you to be comfortable going to the gym. Oftentimes, people feel lost at the gym, they don't feel comfortable going because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what to follow. Even if they have a plan, they still go, oh, you know, I'm not comfortable with it. You got to study it. It's like a book, you want to get comfortable with it, try to start with three rest days and go from there. You also want to mix up your rest days. So don't just have three in a row, you want to kind of do maybe an every other day sort of thing something that's going to allow your body to have that break, but not too much of a break. Just having a general idea of what you're doing each day and how you're going to recover and how you're going to get better. This is going to be key for you guys going forward. It really doesn't take that long to make this guys. And I want you guys to have something that you can adjust. The good thing is you guys are going to always progress. Please, since I did something that not a lot of trainers would do, if you could really share this video, please comment any workout ideas, progress you make and things that you think would be helpful for people. That way you guys can build a community and it can motivate each other. I want this to be a game changer for all of you and for you guys to be able to reach those new heights because you deserve those results that you want. And I know it's been something that you really want to happen and it, it can take a while sometimes, but this should be enough to really push you forward and get you going. I can't wait till you guys see my workout plan that I make. Don't forget to subscribe and like to help the channel out. You have a great day. Thank you for watching.